What's up everyone, it's Colin here on day 15 of my 30 day challenge. And halfway through, I cannot believe that it's halfway through, it's gone by so fast, I've had lots of adventures, lots of rejections, some dates, it's been kind of crazy. And welcome back to my apartment, I know you've missed my apartment, so I brought y'all back here. And I know you're also thinking that you've seen this same shirt before, and you're thinking that Maybe I'm starting to run out of t-shirts to wear for these videos, and you're probably right. So, in the meantime, uh, what I want to do is capture, or just give it, you know, let you know what the numbers are for how, where I'm at. I'm not trying to make this about numbers, but it gives you a good visual of how I'm doing. So, I've talked to 73 strangers over the last 14 days. I'm not counting today. Um, so, I'm on track. If I talk to two today, then I've got my 75. So. And out of that 73, I've gotten 16 phone numbers. That is probably more phone numbers than I've gotten my entire life. I did not know that I had that many phone numbers. So that's kind of crazy. Um, and the lesson here is guys or girls, if you need a date or need a phone number from somebody, just go out and ask like five to 10 people and one of them will say yes. So it's just kind of a numbers game, I guess. Um, so. With that being said, you know, like a short story here is that I was in the grocery store again. I know you're probably getting sick of grocery store stories, but I, you know, I got in this new apartment and I don't have lots of certain things. So I'm there, I'm buying a trash can. And so I'm walking around with my, my trash can in my hand and I think I'm looking for one more thing. And then I see this, this girl who I think is attractive and in my head I'm like, oh, I've already talked to like 60 plus people and I've already talked to six that day. I'm like past my, you know, quota. And I'm like, oh, this girl looks nice. She doesn't, she doesn't need to be hassled. I just don't want to hassle one more person. So that's like this thing that's going on in my head. And I, you know, I have my trash can and I I'm walk past her and I'm like, ah, oh, I'm just going to do it anyway. So I turn around, trash can still in hand. And uh, I go up to her and I was like, uh, hey, <laughs> Colin, I'm sorry. I'm doing this. You know, I was just kind of like very, didn't really want to bother her. And, you know, as soon as I introduced myself and thought she was cute and etc., she started, you know, I was like on my way out. I was like, I can clearly see your grocery shopping. I'm going to take my trash can and leave. And she instantly was just like, she actually engaged me. She was like, oh, well, what are you doing with that trash can? I don't remember what she said, but um, <laughs> something like that. And, and then I was like, oh, wow. She actually, you know, wanted a, to continue a conversation. Then we had a great conversation and um, we exchanged phone numbers and everything and yeah we talked for a while it was great it was like and then so the lesson for me there was that people actually probably for the most part or I mean some people at least would enjoy this kind of um, approach like like a stranger coming up and saying what's up I think you're cute I wanted to talk to you and you know there's people out there who will say no and there's also people out there who are like waiting for you to come do that they're waiting for you man so um, just keep that in mind. And that's what I'm trying to keep in mind too, that like, you never know, maybe that person wants you to come talk to them and they don't know that they want you to yet because they're not looking at you. But uh, I, you know, at this point I'm just saying, screw it, just go for it. And anyway, so lastly, I just, uh, I really thank you for all everyone's like positive feedback and everyone's, you know, interactions and, and all that stuff. So I would love to hear from you guys about where you want me or to kind of like what you want me to do where you want me to go within reason but I'll be your guinea pig and you know like when I can make it happen I know you're probably sick of hearing me going to the grocery store because I've been doing that quite a bit and so just you know brainstorm shoot some ideas like I probably will say no to a few of them because I know some of you probably uh, take this a little too far but you know within reason like I said I, I would love to be your guinea pig and just go try things out at different places I'm starting to run out of places to go, so it would be fantastic for some new ideas maybe. And in the meantime, thanks for tuning in, and I will talk to you soon.